that's the arm they pull on the other side of the boat from Little Mac. And it's, uh, I think it's quite stunning. But there should be an area as big as that unexplored. Hi. How are you? Welcome to my channel, World History Official. In this video, I would like to show you, a declassified documents about Flat Earth. Not one person has the absolute right to claim their complete Flat Earth theory is the correct one, and that all else is confusion. But by working together, individually studying, debating, being open, and creating tangible pieces of work, we can find the truth together. Before I start it, remember to subscribe and hit the bell icon on my channel if you enjoy. And also, share this information to your family, your friends, and everyone. So, here we go. Declassified documents reveal, that Russia support belief in a firmament and a flat earth. I wanted to talk to you about Russia and the scientific community. It seems, that Russia has been researching the biblical firmament, and also the flat earth debate, since the 1950s. In a recently declassified document, that was released in 2000, the CIA revealed, that Russia has actually been doing research on the firmament for quite. This new information comes from a Flat Earth conference, through Pastor Dean O'Dale. While watching his YouTube channel Pastor O'Dale, shared declassified documents from the CIA. These declassified documents, are available for anyone to read. The documents reveal experiments performed by the Russians as far back as the 1940s and 50s. Many people may already know that during this time, the United States and Russia, were involved in a burgeoning race for space. It was during this time, that Admiral Richard E. Byrd, discovered land beyond the South Pole, during Operation High Jump. According to Admiral Byrd, it was an area as large as the United States and rich in minerals. Some speculate, that Admiral Byrd also found the edge of the firmament and flat earth, which is, why initially 12 countries signed an Arctic Treaty, prohibiting people from visiting the South Pole, since 1959. According to Wikipedia, the main treaty was opened for signature on December 1, 1959, and officially entered into force on June 23, 1961. The original signatories, were the 12 countries active in Antarctica during the International Geophysical Year, or IGE, of 1957 to 1958. The 12 countries that had significant interests in Antarctica at the time were, Argentina, Australia, Belgium, Chile, France, Japan, New Zealand, Norway, South Africa, the Soviet Union, the United Kingdom and the United States. These countries, had established over 50 Antarctic stations for the IGI. The treaty was a diplomatic expression, of the operational and scientific cooperation, that had been achieved on the ice. Russia and the United States, test the firmament. Regardless, something very strange, has been taking place, since Admiral Byrd made his expedition of the South Pole in 1947. Some have speculated, that Admiral Byrd's discovery, was the main reason for the Soviets and the United States, doing high altitude test on the firmament. It seems, that immediately following his discoveries, the United States and Russia, started sending nuclear bombs, up to the sky. 
These experiments were named, Operation Fishbowl and Dominic. Operation Fishbowl, was a series of high-altitude nuclear tests in 1962, that was carried out by the United States as a part of the larger Operation Dominic nuclear test program. The high-altitude test, was done between 1958 and 1962. The official report states, that Operation Fishbowl were nuclear detonations, to test the Earth's magnetic field. However, the term fishbowl implies, that they were really testing the firmament. Operation Paperclip Cover-Up Other strange occurrences, surround Operation Paperclip. This photo, is a group of 104 rocket scientists, or aerospace engineers, at Fort Bliss, Texas. Operation Paperclip was a secret program of the Joint Intelligence Objectives Agency, or JIA, largely carried out by special agents of Army CIC, in which more than 1,600 German scientists, engineers, and technicians, such as Werner von Braun and his V-2 rocket team, were recruited, after the end of World War II, in post-Nazi Germany, and taken to the U.S. for government employment, primarily between 1945 and 1959. Many were former members, and some were former leaders, of the Nazi Party. The primary purpose for Operation Paperclip was, U.S. military advantage in the Russo-American Cold War, and the space race. The Soviet Union, were more aggressive in forcibly recruiting, at gunpoint, more than 2,200 German specialists. The Firmament Through the Freedom of Information Act, the documents that reveal all sorts of information, such as research on the existence of aliens, psychic powers, and invisible incrassipes. Of course, the last words that we'd expect to find is research, that alludes to an enclosed flat non-rotating Earth, underneath the firmament. The firmament refers to the enclosed structure, that is part of the Hebrew cosmology of the Earth. According to ancient Hebrew interpretation, the Earth is a flat plain, underneath a dome-like structure, called the firmament. What's interesting about these declassified documents is, that the words, firmament, flat earth, and non-rotating, are used often, to describe the nature of the Earth. On the CIA website, a declassified document is found entitled, Scientific Abstract Piuskov Ka Yafis and Kova. Dissertations defended in the Scientific Council of the Institute of Physics of the Earth, Institute of Physics of the Atmosphere, and Institute of Applied Geophysics, ACSCUSSR, during the first semester of 1957. Piuskov Ka and Kova, Investigation of the Scattering of Light, in the Earth's Atmosphere, Dr. Dissertation. Opponents, Doctor of Physico-Mathematical Sciences Kuznetsov, Doctor of Physico-Mathematical Sciences Polozkov, Doctor of Physico-Mathematical Sciences Saklovsky. March 23, 1957. The dissertation, represents the result of many years of study of the clear daytime sky. The observations, were carried out in 12 locations, at various altitudes, above the sea, various climatic, meteorological and synoptic conditions. The observations, were carried out mainly during high transparency of the atmosphere, in the visual range of the spectrum, in the absence of a snow cover. In the investigations two instruments, designed by VG Fiesenkov were used, one of these was a visual photometer of the daytime sky, intended for measuring the brightness of the firmament, and so on. In this investigation, they were measuring the brightness of the firmament. Notice at the bottom of the page. The goal of this research was, to determine the brightness of the firmament. This information found on card 621, is enough to reveal to us flat earthers, that the Russian scientist knows, 
of the firmament, that exists over the earth. The Hebrew word for firmament, is rekia. It means, the vault of heaven, or firmament, regarded by Hebrews as solid, and supporting waters above it. This information was released in 2000, however, the experiment was conducted in 1956. Until the release of this information, the assumption of the general public was, that the Earth exists without such a dome-like covering. Even today, though this information has been unclassified, many people still refuse to believe, that such a covering exists. The Flat Earth The second great discovery, from the declassified documents is, that the Russian scientist assumed, that the Earth was flat. In the abstract notes from 721, we find these words, the first order is derived from the assumption of a flat Earth. See document, near sun halo, and also from the sun on a surface, perpendicular to these rays. The dissertation contains a certain formula, of the brightness of the sky, taking into consideration, only the brightness of the first order, and derived on the assumption of a flat earth, and giving some conclusions, derived on the basis of this formula. For a certain coefficient of transparency of the atmosphere, the brightness of the sky, at any point, is represented by derivation of two functions, of which one is the function of the diffusion of light, and the other is a function of the zenith distances of the sun, and of the observed point of the sky. On changing of the zenith distances of the sun z, from 90 to 0 degrees, the brightness of the sky on the Alamukantra of the sun increases first, reaching a maximum for a certain value of z, and then decreases. A method is also proposed of determining the brightness of the clear daylight sky at any point, based on measuring the brightness, along the sky at any point, based on measuring the brightness along the Alamukantra of the sun of five to six points, of the firmament, located at various zenith distances, and so on. The Bible was right. Proof of the flat earth, as described in the Bible, is greatly sought after by the flat earth community. Although, many scriptures support a stationary flat non-rotating earth, many Bible-believing people, still have problems relaying this truth to Bible deniers. Genesis chapter 1 verse 7 says, that God made the firmament, and divided the waters, which were under the firmament from the waters, which were above the firmament. Flat Earth advocates, myself included, believe, that these declassified documents prove, that Russia and the United States, know that the Earth is a flat, enclosed plane, and that they have been keeping it a secret, since the 1940s and 50s. Furthermore, the reason that they do not want the general public to know is, that such a discovery would prove, that the Bible is true, and science is wrong.